I'm going to show you the world's first water feature that is patented that runs on a rechargeable battery. Now, what I think is brilliant about this especially is that anyone can fit them. You don't need an electrician. So for me, it's a big, big plus. So this is the Hydria. And this feature here all comes in a little box. Now, we all love water in the garden, don't we? We know it's got huge benefits for wildlife. On hot summers like we've had, it just cools you down. It's wonderful when you've got a noise source because it can really mask the noise of maybe builders next door, people talking, road traffic or whatever. So it's very useful to have it in a sitting area when you've got a noisy source nearby. And finally, they do think that it has a lot to do with your well-being because when you have running water, it discharges negative ions into the air and negative ions make you feel happy and calm as opposed to positive ions, which make you feel all scratchy, which you get in deserts when you get sort of sandstorms and things like that. Lots of positive ions are generated and they make you feel really uncomfortable. Um, so, so water's got a lot of benefits, uh, particularly I'm looking for a nice water source for my bees because they really do go around in summer looking for places to drink and a shallow water source is ideal. Anyway, I've got this Hydria. This is how it comes in this box. And you basically have it in this kit form. Now this can go into any pot at all. I'm going to put it in first of all the dolly tub, which I've got here. The pot doesn't even have to be waterproof. It can have holes in the bottom. It really doesn't matter because the kit is totally self-sufficient. So with this, you've got the top, which is the grill that sits on the top. You've got the nozzles and jets for the fountains. And you've got a choice of jets here. You've got a simple jet and then you've got a sprinkler jet with patterns. You've got two sizes so you can make it higher or lower. You've got a spirit level to make sure when you set it up it's level. This tiny, tiny wee little spirit level there. It's got a brush to clean it with when you clean it out because any water feature needs a bit of cleaning out. And it's got a little bag, a little cloth actually to clean things with. Then on the layer below we've got the all important control and this allows you to put it on continuously you can turn it on with this obviously and then it will run continuously and it will run for just over six days before you recharge it if it's continuous and then if you put it on a timer you can do that so you could just have it coming on for two hours a day and then I think it lasts you for it lasts to in total for 150 hours so it would last you for 75 odd days if you have it on two hours a day or you can just turn it on and off when you want it so that's brilliant and it also shows you how to make it low medium and high for the nozzles so you can change adjust the nozzles accordingly then there's a little bag that you put the controller in so you don't lose it so that's the sort of ornamental part of it but the real working part of the kit comes inside of the bowl and this you simply take off the lid and inside you can see there's a rechargeable battery and the pack and what you do is you actually clip I'm just going to move this you actually clip it together so these two bits clip in now when they arrive they probably won't be full charged. They'll probably have a bit of gas in them, a bit of juice in them, should we say, right, they're clipped in, and then you put the thing back on. But in order to get it to full charge, which is worth doing before you assemble it, you actually just charge it up, and it's got a very, very neat way to charge things up. The most difficult part of the whole thing is getting the lid on, but there it is. It's There, the lid is on. Now I've got a battery point here and I'm just gonna show you, and I think these lights will flash red. So here's my uh, battery, my power, which is connected to a socket inside, just for the purposes of showing you how it works. So you see it's flashing red now 
And then when it's fully charged, which takes about eight hours to fully charge it from nothing, it will flash and stay on green. And then you know it's done. So while that one is charging, we'll go to the other one, which I've partially assembled and fully charged. So as not to confuse you, I've got two sets here. I've got this one and the one which I've partially assembled. So here I've got my partially assembled one uh, and it's fully charged. Now you see, I've just actually put the nozzle in that. So I've put two nozzles together because I want a high nozzle. And you literally just put one in there and then you stuff it in the hole like that. Now I could have chosen other nozzles if I wanted a more ornate fountain. I could have had something like that which comes out as a little sort of fountain like you see in shopping centres and stuff. Um, and there's another variant on it there. So you've got lots and lots of options. So having got that in, I then put it in the water bowl. So I just put it in the water bowl on the area that they say. I'm going to bring the levels up a bit. So I'm going to put some more of this perlite into here. So there's the water feature with the shelf. I'm not 100% convinced on the shelf. I mean, it is quite handy, but I think I could refine the design of that a bit more. So they cost, they cost £199 in UK or they're $209. And there are lots of suppliers that you can get them from now. But it's worth remember with, in, with any water feature like this, you either need to clean it out fairly regularly so maybe every three weeks or so something like that or you could pop some chlorine in the water and um, and then you with that little brush you clean out any algae that's in there or anything like that you will also need to top it up people are always amazed at how much water is lost from water features due to evaporation and when you've got a running water feature like this you do use lose a lot now on some big schemes we put in solenoid valves and these are actually automatic top-ups connected to a tank. You can't connect them to the, the mains and they will just automatically top up the water feature when it gets below a certain level. Um, so, and then in winter, what do you do in winter? If you live in an area where you go below freezing, then you could either move it into the house in winter, assuming that's above freezing, and you could have it running in the hall or wherever you wanted it, or you could just take it down and then bring it out again when the weather gets warmer. But I think this is a, a very simple water feature, um, which is so much easier than the normal ones where you need an electrician or whatever. So I think it's a really clever device um, and I think it'll go far and many people will get a lot of pleasure from it.